start and uh, it's processing right now. Okay, we're going live. <laughs> hey guys, I hope everybody has enjoyed the show. I'm I'll wait a few seconds here. Like always, Robin is on the phone with me, so she will uh, uh, let me know as soon as she she knows we're actually live. She big thumbs up. We're actually live. All right, and everybody can hear me good. It's all all good. Let her know in the chat there, and we'll and we'll get going. Hope you enjoyed er the whole day again. Had some new people on too, so that was really cool. Um, Everything, just big thank you to everybody who participated and Jamie and Dale for taking care of all of this and making it all happen too. It's all awesome. All right. I, I'm i going to turn uh, some stuff here, uh, actually a, a meat a tenderizer and a chicken press a mallet today. So we'll get started on that in a sec. I'll just give everybody a second to get, get in the chat and say hi and we'll get going. All right. Um. Yeah, if you have any questions at all during the, the stream, just go ahead and put them in the chat. Robin will relay them to me, and I will try and remember to repeat the question. I seem to have a hard time doing that. I need to, like, do some sprints or something before the before we go live. Just, like, get pumped up. All right. All right. We're all good. I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera over, and then we'll, we'll I'll get this all set up. I'll show you what, what we're going to make. All right. So, I am going to make a meat tenderizer on one side of it. So, both of these are from Ruth Niles, and this is a chicken press. So, we'll have a mallet, one on one side, one on the other. And so, I did a little bit of prep work on it, but I'll explain to you how I did that as we go along. All right. All right. So, all right. Hi, everybody. All right. Again, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the in the chat, and, and Robin will relay them to me. So what I did is I have a piece of maple burl here. I ran it through my bandsaw, which looks more like it burnt its way through. I think I need a new blade. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what I did with this, cut it up on the bandsaw, and then I drilled a hole all the way through it, and inserted one of the inserts in one of these little guys in one end of it. So that way when I put it on put it on the lathe, it's all lined up and ready to go. So these little inserts here, I just pressed one of them in, into it, put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on it and pushed it down in there. And we'll put the other one in when we're done. So this is uh, the mandrel here. So this is Robin said, oh, I said I need to move the camera in the bottom corner. Hang on one sec. There we go. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> There's a delay, so we don't, we don't know yet. <laughs> All right. So this is the mandrel. This just screws right onto your, to your headstock. You can get these in. This is an inch and, a, inch and an eighth. But, or inch and a quarter, but you can get one inch if you have a have a smaller lathe. So that, that just goes on there like that. We'll go ahead and thread this on. And because I drilled the hole all the way through it, it lines right up. Just bring your tail stock up. I just have a, a cone shape live center on it. So it'll go right in the hole on the other side. And we can press it together just like that and go ahead and, and turn the whole thing and then I'll put that insert in the other side. This piece right here, I'm going to make the handle out of. It's a piece of ambrosia maple. All right. Oh, make sure it doesn't hit the tool rest. We're all good. Get my face shield on and we'll start turning this. I'm just going to go ahead and start out with um, uh, roughing gouge just to get it get it true and then we'll start shaping it and bringing it down to size. Alright. And I'm the lay speed about uh, 
about, about 2,000. Welcome back. This is maple burl. The, oh, somebody asked what kind of wood it is. It's maple burl. So it's, it's just a beautiful piece. There's a lot of character and in it. So it's once we get get this sanded, it's going to be really nice. So the yes, Jamie. Yeah, they're they're amazing. These are this is the meat tenderizer, and then the chicken press is actually smooth. But yeah, and they go together. Turn in something like this. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Um, I, so I'm making a mallet, but hang on one sec. Oh. This this right here, I, I grabbed this picture. Uh, Steve made these. And so you don't have to make a mallet out of it. You could just do them individually like that. It's just a meat tenderizer with a handle on it. And they're just as easy to turn these um is it is to turn a bottle stopper so they're they're really let me go back here real quick um the threads on them same size as the mandrel same size as the inserts for whether it's a bottle stopper or it's a you know tenderizer like like this same same thread size they all are interchangeable so so you can you don't have to have a separate mandrel or anything it's just all done with the same same mandrel and they're really like the ones in the handle there that i just showed you there you could turn those just as fast as you could turn a turn a bottle stopper all right so we're going to bring it down to that a little bit bigger than that diameter just barely and then we'll then we'll refine it Good, the camera's good. I the back. And this is this is the easy wood rough you know, the square one. And I'm gonna book the lead up a little bit, about twenty-five hours. Anybody out there in the chat turn the tenderizer uh, or new tenderizer or chicken breast I think or bottle stopper? This is a first time meeting and today is the first time in three months. So it's insane for all of us. We've been laying off all of these first meetings for three months. Yeah, like a, you know, the store back. 
little bit smaller there than it is down there so I'm going to go across to with the, the, the lathe is really in. Yes it is. It's a good microphone. It, it picks everything up. Can I move, move the microphone? Alright, how's that? I moved the microphone up a little bit. That should be, should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and come in from the sides on both sides with a parting tool and I'm going to cup them out just a little bit. Just barely. It does, you don't need to go crazy on it. Just, uh, just enough to make sure it seats nice and flat. That's better. We got them cut out just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some detail in it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just come down and put a little cove on each side, and then bring it, and then bring it back up in the in the center. This is a single down, and I'm going to go ahead and just bump the little speed up. It's running at 3,000 RPM. Just coming down from each side of it to make that make that curve. And on this side, you can do the same thing. And then
as far as sound goes. Can you hear it? How's that? Can you hear me? Okay. There's a big delay, so I'll we'll wait. All right. Well, wait a second. Just let me know. Nobody's ever had a hard time hearing before. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Job a headset. No. Jabra. Um, I don't know. Nobody's ever had a hard time hearing before, so I'm not sure what's going on. They can hear me now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're back at it then. All right. Robin said it's like really bright. Hang on. Well, I can't turn off the can't turn off the like lights. How's that? Much better. All right. All right. There we go. All right. It's all good now. All right. All right. We go ahead and sand this. Just run through a couple grits. We'll put some oil on it. I'm going to turn the lathe speed down. And hang on one sec, let me turn on the dust collector. I'm not sure why it's picking up all the other sounds. Alright. Yeah, thanks. I just, I don't know. Normally it's, the sound is the least of the problems. Normally, it's just me not repeating the questions. All right. Yeah, the wood is, is pretty bright. It looks, uh, it's like holly. Yeah. Here, let's run through. Hey, Rot, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. How's it? Everybody having a good Saturday? And did you get a chance to see all the other other people on the craft festival? So if you go to the YouTube channel, there's a playlist on there. So if you missed anybody, there it's all in a playlist and can watch watch some of them no oh, all right you have a good night too thanks all right we're gonna put some oil on this this will darken it darken it up so you can see it this will darken the wood up a little bit and You'll be able to see a little better, hopefully. And this is Howard's beeswax and orange oil. All right. That was 320. We're going to go ahead and do 400 and 600 on it. Oh, nice. 
nice river board. Like a, a cutting board? Is that what it was? Very, very nice. That's awesome. Hey Rick, yeah, sorry we couldn't make it. I uh, We'll be there. We'll be there next year, though. Uh, can I? How fast can I turn a bowl? Well, how fast did Jamie turn it? Okay, I can do it in a minute and a half then. <laughs> All right, Jamie, next craft festival, we just need to be on at the same time and see how many bowls we can turn in an hour. Mike, you're insane. You've been on all day. <laughs> oh, well, it so sounds like your, your body's not, not used to retirement yet. Hi Bonnie, don't worry about it. It wasn't wasn't really anything special. Jake's. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding, Jake. I love you. All right, there it is. I'm going to put it back on here in a sec in just a second, but I just wanted to unthread it real quick and sh and show you. Yeah, it's just a just a beautiful piece of piece of maple okay well then it's settled we're going going head to head bowl turning all right hang on let me shut the vacuum off and then we'll all right I'm just gonna put some pressure on this just real quick I'm going to find a spot on it that doesn't have a lot of character on it. I'm going to go right there. Let me lock this down. I have a spot here that doesn't, doesn't have much on it. Right there. So I'm going to measure the center of this. And Robin wanted me to breathe in. How's that? I just I just, bumped, just zoomed in magic all right so it is just under four inches so what we're gonna do is figure out what that is and put a mark right there so just under four so yes giant Texas turnoff we would we would need to have Jake there for it. All right, right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Forstner bit. I'm going to drill into this thing, and then, and then that will be the recess for the tenon I'm going to make for the handle. I think I think that would be fun, Jamie. All right. Okay. Well, we put a video up of what we're returning. I can't remember. I think we were all turning something resin. Um, okay. You need me give me a second here. We're, we're having some technical difficulties, and I need the, my drill from in the house. No. There's a storm, but, I mean, it just rain. All right. Hang on, I need to go in the house and get the drill. Hang on a second. And if you can hear it, that's the neighbor's dog. Everybody hear that? Why is my drill on the kitchen counter? Because we're putting in trim in the house and I had to take the doors off all 
we were turning re it was a resin turn off all right i'm in i'm down for a, a bowl you know what that's a little big i think that's a little big hang on a sec i don't want to go quite that big that's a giant tenon all right all right i'm gonna go ahead and Go into this thing. And I'm gonna go in go in quite a way. So I'm just gonna here. Here you can you can just just watch me lean on the drill. And then we'll take that piece of ambrosia there and uh, make a handle for this thing. Oh no, that's our neighbor's dog. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, between G Ginger, the neighbor's dog, and and. Jack and Chloe, somebody's, so our dog, somebody's always barking, growling, yes. All right. All right, that's good. That's, that's, that's plenty. Oh right! Oh, Jamie, you saw that? You saw the, the my, my. You saw that gun show? It's free too. Where, where's Jake? Jake and I can have a have a gun show. All right. All right. There we go. I have a hole drilled in it. I went in about about three quarters of an inch. So. We'll go ahead and did you notice Jake? Thank you. Thank you very much for, for actually noticing. I I have been working out and I've just been been hitting it hard. Isn't that what workout people say? I've been hitting it hard. But I've been just hitting the gym hard. <laughs> all right all right here's the ambrosia it's a beautiful piece of wood we'll get that in there it's a lot longer than i need but we'll we'll turn it down all right need to get this thing off of here and i just figured out what's going on with the with the audio because every time I switch cameras it's turning the audio back on on the webcams so I don't know I don't know why that's happening it's never done that before huh okay I'll just put my put my face shield in out down like that how's that okay and I did, I keep getting questions about this thing. Um, it's a center finder. It goes on the wood like this. I keep getting questions in the comments on the videos. I have no idea. It has no brand name on it. I got it. And so I look back at a video. Somebody just left a comment on it. And the video was 10 years old. And so I believe I got it at Woodcraft. But it was, it was at least 10 years ago because it was in that video. But it's slick little tool. I'm sure you could find something like it out there now. I just I just don't don't know where or even the brand name of it. So you just like put put it on the wood like that, and just mark that, and it gives you a center on it. It does, right? Pac-Man. Pac-Man with a giant nose. It's like Pinocchio Pac-Man. Right. 
And speaking of woodcraft, we need to run up there next week because I need a new face shield because I can't see. I need a new shield part of it because I can't see anything. All right, that's good. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down and we'll start, start shaping. Yeah, I have my, Robin, I goes, do you have your glasses on? I said, yeah, I do have my glasses on and I still can't see anything. It is, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lot of resin and CA glue and uh, who knows what else. It's like chunks on it. So we, we need to run again another one. I, it's like looking through a fog. So, and I don't think any of that stuff will come off of there. All right. All right, I'm going to go, same thing, I'm going to use a roughing gouge first, and then, then, uh, then we'll switch over and start shaping it. I mean, no woodcraft there? Yeah, they're, they're, they're nice. We actually have one about six miles away. They do sell online, online like everybody else though too. So, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the, the tailstock end of it, and I want to want to make sure that that fit in there is is good and tight. So I'm going to grab the calipers again here real quick, and I'm going to find the actual mallet head. Two hours. Oh, that's not good. Two hours. All right, I'm gonna bring this down right here, and again, I'm gonna use the the roughing gouge or the um, easy wood rougher. And then we'll start using the calipers to to get it right down, so it's a nice tight fit. There's not one in Mississippi. I don't, there's like 80 of them. I, I'm not sure like where where they all are though. Okay. I'm gonna pull that out of there and test it real quick. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Now, right. yeah, I think there's like 80 of them in the U.S. You should maybe talk to them about, about uh, moving outside the U.S. Really close. I just want to go nice and slow. And not, not make it too small on it. Nice, almost like a press fit in there. Okay, that is, that's getting there. That's close. Uh, 
Robin said, did we take Jamie to Woodcraft when, when he came over? No, I don't think we did. What kind of host are we? Yeah, I don't think we took it. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we got, we were driving out on the road and I think we got back here and just made him work. Yeah, all right. All right, I think that's going to work. Yeah, we just put him to work when we got back here. Yeah, we probably drove right by him. We took him up to the gorge and everything, but yeah. It, it is dangerous. <laughs> it's like going to Costco. You're not getting out of there without refi refinancing the house. Hey, Franco, how you doing? Awesome job on the on the bread. Clingspore is awesome. Well, you must live in, is it North Carolina or South Carolina? I can't remember it. Did we take him to Costco? Oh, down at the beach, right? Yeah, Jamie comes over here, he's a wood turner, and we take him to Costco and not Woodcraft. Huh. North Carolina, yeah, yeah. I knew it was knew it was one of them, I just couldn't remember which one. Yeah, I used to used to get all my sandpaper from Clingspore for years. Yeah, they have uh, cloth back sandpaper that I used to buy. But hello, Brazil. How are you doing, Carlos? Thanks for coming and hanging out. Nothing, Dale? You need to start a, a club there in Scotland. Is it the same Dale? Is it Dale Dale? Alright, I'm just going going slow with it and making sure I leave uh, you know some of the wood here so it doesn't start to vibrate too much. Right? Nabisco can pancake batter. Right? Well, we did take him to Jake's. I mean, that was a treat. Yeah, in the middle of a giant wind and ice storm. So, don't be complaining too much. about your American experience. Didn't we take him to a Walmart too? That's like every... Oh, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie, you didn't have to have the fish and chips. You could have... 
Yeah, they had a big menu. You could have had a hamburger. And now he's, I'm sure he's going to say he invented the hamburger. Or England invented the hamburger, right? You guys are always stealing all our, our all of our inventions. All right. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just slowly. I kind of, kind of came off that bead there, went down. It, that's the thinnest part. Now I'm just like slowly going back up a little bit. So when you hold it in your hand. It'll feel comfortable. But I'm gonna. Nothing in Kentucky? Oh, and yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, they have one in like Lexington, is where e Easywood is. Oh, they have one in Louis Louisville? Oh, right. No wood turning clubs? That's crazy. You need to need to start one. I know there's wood turners in Kentucky. Ross, I am working with this is uh, maple, just uh, regular maple burl. It's a little bit lighter, and this right here is ambrosia maple has some beautiful color in it. Once we get it all sanded up, you'll be able to see that and I'll get some oil on it. I just kind of want to pull it off the lay there real quick and see what we're, what we're lo really looking at. That's a little small. I'm going to, I'm going to ma make it about that big. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese is, is that's American. I mean, it's when you were here, Chuck E. Cheese, that's like the smell of socks and $2, two dollar pizza. You can't get in any more American than that. I bet the Italians are not happy about Chuck E. Cheese. It's kind of disgracing. What does Franco say about that? Franco, do you, got, do you hate Chuck E. Cheese? They pretty much ruined pizza. I mean, how could you sit there and eat a pizza with the smell of socks? It's so gross. All right, we're going to go right there. It, it's hamburger. I have no idea why it's called that. We do have like pulled pork burgers that are amazing. I, I don't know why they call it a hamburger. We're gonna come around here a little bit. Oh, you worked at Chuck E. Cheese. Tell us, tell us about the, the like the bowels. What was it like? in the back room, like the break room. Were you, did you have to wear the suit? Was it like rotating? Chris, tell me, tell me you put on the mouse outfit. <laughs> oh, Chris, we're going to need photos. We are going to need photos of that. All right, I'm going to turn the laser speed down here. Sand this thing up. Get this out of the way real quick. We need to get Chris to get some pictures. <laughs> I 
That's awesome. Right? We went there when we were, you know, young or, you know, kids. But yeah, now you go in there, it's like, how could I have done this? <laughs> but yeah, like birthday parties and yeah. Are they, are they actually like still around? Oh, they are still around, huh? Robin said they're still hanging in there. They probably are a lot cleaner now. I, wor I worked at Pietro's Pizza in Portland, Oregon for quite a while. We had a fire truck. Oh, you should send Chris that picture when I got Employee of the Month. Pietro's is a, it was Pietro's Pizza and our, like, you know, thing was we had a, a old fire truck in there and it was kind of like a chain. There were, I don't know, 20, 30 stores, but they had a fire truck in each one of them with a, and a pole. So I got Employee of the Month one time. So I climbed the pole and took a picture for my Employee of the Month picture. You'll have to send that to Chris. Oh, Robin said she would just post it on Facebook. Not cool. Jeez. Chris, I'm with you. I have to go destroy that picture now. All right. I'm just standing up. Getting all the little ridges out of it from vibrating. So normally, too, like when you're doing doing a handle like this, um, maple or uh, burl is not the best thing. You want the grain running from headstock to tailstock. It'll cut cuts a lot nicer. So when it's running every direction, it's uh, you know you get a lot more vibration and you get tear outs too. So. Keep that in mind if you're making like finials and stuff. You want the the straighter the grain is running that way, the better it is. So. All right. Just gonna keep going through just a couple more grits, and then I will. We'll. Uh, Start putting oil on it. Uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful piece of wood, though. It has all that that dark dark in there. It's gonna look look great once we get the oil on it. One more. Oop. I have to grab that. All right. Uh. All right. Now we'll go ahead and. Go ahead and turn the dust collector off. Oh, what was that? Robin said something to me. I couldn't hear. All right. Now we'll go ahead and put some oil on it. All right. I think I, I think I lost Robin. Yes. No. Hang on, she's turning. She's answering my phone. I'm trying to call you. 
It's right there. Oh, I can, I can hear it ringing. All right, we're good. We're we're back. I don't know what happened. We haven't had rain in three months, and I I think it's screwing everything up. The phone just died. Right. Yeah, let me go ahead and bring you in a little closer, and you can see see this is there a good way to figure out the handle length you know what there there might be there might be some sort of calculation i'm not sure like you um but i i i had it about right there and i put this up there and it, it's like way too small so i went ahead and made it that bigger i i'm thinking i just kind of i just eyeball it but there might be some sort of you know I don't know. Can you see that? that a little better? You know what? It keeps screwing up. That's what it is. Something's going on with the... Yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. All right, I'm going to pull the camera back out. And uh, every time I switch views, it screws up. It turns the audio on the on the webcam on for some reason oh, that's the first but yeah i don't know does anybody else in the chat know whether there's a, whether there's some sort of calculation for the handle on a mallet i'm not sure more with the oil I just kind of like wipe it off with paper towels in between in between the grits and then we'll press the press the what how much how are we looking on time nine minutes we can do it we can do it um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, we'll go ahead and press those things and I'll show you how the actual meat tenderizer and the chicken press go together. All right. That is good. Let me go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and saw that off real quick. And then I'll I'll sand that up with the sanding pad. Backing up just a little bit. Oh, dropped it. All right. I keep dropping stuff. Oh, all right. All right. There. There we go. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of wood. And this little guy right here will go in there. And that's going to work out perfect. I might have to shave off just a little bit on the end of it, but it gonna go uh yeah i could could go over if we need to but yeah yeah i think that's a nice contrast the dark robin wants me to show it on a different camera 
Hang on, how's that? Is that better camera? Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right. All right, let me show you how to go back. And then we'll go ahead and put the insert in there. So with these, there's, you can do it like on a drill press, but hang on, I, need, I need to remember to shut the audio off every time I move cameras. All right, so a little bit of Gorilla Glue right in there. Put the other the other cone or live center back on. This one works perfect. As far as how much Gorilla Glue you need, put on. Just whatever the amount of Gorilla Glue you think you need, go ahead and cut that in half. And then right before you put it on whatever it is, cut it in half again. Because you don't need much at all. It's insane. So, and then you can just use the, the headstock there, bring the tailstock up. Put it right in the, the little insert there and then just use your lathe to press it right in, just like that. I do the same thing when I make bottle stoppers. I use the lathe to just press them in like that. The drill bit gets it really close. It's a little bit tight, so it's perfect. Put a little bit of glue on it, and then just press them right inside of it. So, and then uh, I need to do a little bit of cleaning this up, but I, I have to do that on the on the sander. So let me show you how they how they go together and I can do that later. Clean my hands off. Uh, I've tried to adjust the white balance on it. I don't I have no idea what's going on because they keep they're all of a sudden they're screwing up with the with the audio too. I'm not sure what what's going on. So these little inserts, they screw right into the threaded insert and then they Yeah. Yes, I use Gorilla Glue on the on the bottle stoppers too. Yep. Yep. Hang on one sec. What did I do? I screwed it on there too much. All right. I don't know what I was, what I was doing. I'm gonna have to get that one out of there. So, on these, you want to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on this part of the thread too, and thread them into it, and let it just lock in there. So it'll it'll glue that insert in there, but when you need to clean it, you'll be able to just unscrew it and just this part will come off. The threaded, the insert will stay in there. So the little inserts, definitely screw those in. Otherwise, they just come out and they're stuck with it. You want to just be able to take that off and throw it in the, in the dishwasher or just wash it up in the sink. But yeah, just a little bit of glue, Gorilla Glue there. Screw that all the thing all the way down to the bottom of it just like that and it just leaves a little little bit left on the top and then you can screw the these on so that is how it goes together I need to figure, figure out what this one what I did I just I need to grab some soft oh there it goes it just came out I screwed it up there we go the meat tenderizers, uh, yes, I yeah, they all come with the cover, um, and they come with the the threaded insert on it too, yeah, just like that. 
I just answered that question. Robin said she can't hear me. Yes. Robin said now the phones are screwing up. <laughs> it's a full moon and it's raining. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah. The chicken press on one side, meat tenderizer. Uh, Ruth also makes uh, uh, espresso like coffee tamps. They're the same thing, just like this. They're shaped shaped a little bit different, but they all go together just like that. So when you're done with it. <laughs> it's a, a meat whacker. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jake. Robin can't hear me for some reason, but I can hear her. So it's very odd, but I can hear her. All right. Um, I don't know. We're in some sort of vortex here in Oregon. All right. She just she just hung up on me because she can't hear me. All right. Let me grab the chair, and I will sit back down for a sec. Hang on. And I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras over. And how's that? And see, now, now I just did that, and then it didn't screw up. The audio didn't switch over, so I don't know what's going on. All right, hope everybody had a good time today, enjoyed all of the uh, demonstrations. There was a ton of stuff. Um, hope everybody had a good time. Robin's just coming in. We're just, I can hear you just fine. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's weird. I'll get to... Uh, Get this put together. I'll change the, the thumbnail on this and then I'll put a picture up on Instagram too. But yeah. Thank you. Super Jamie, easy really project. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you, Jamie and Dale, putting us all together and everybody that joined in. Appreciate it. I hope everybody had a good time. And we will, we've been doing them every other month. So here, what is it? October, November. Yeah. Well, November, we'll do another one. Yeah. I got to figure out the math real quick. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody had a good time and we will see you next time. Everybody take care and have a great weekend. All right. All right. Bye. Meat whacker, huh?